The Roman Heritage The mightiest ancient country, the Roman Empire, conquered the present Bulgarian lands about 2000 years ago. It brought military and construction technologies, built splendid temples and public buildings, changed the thinking scales. An example of this is Kabyle, the Thracian royal city which was also an important economic, religious and cultural center in southeast Thrace. The arrival of Marcus Terentius Lucullus in the 1st century BC turned it into a military center. Impressive municipal buildings, fortified walls and city gates, military barracks rose in it. We can get an idea of the scale of Roman cities by looking at the remains of ancient Serdica, which still have not been completely excavated. The foundations of the former Roman city are buried three meters below contemporary Sofia. The two main streets, Cardo and Decumanis, are right under the two contemporary main streets that cross each other at the St. Petka underpass. The best exposed element of Serdica is the eastern gate of the fortress in the underpass between the Council of Ministers and the Presidency buildings. The yard of the Presidency building surrounds the St. George the Victorious Rotunda. It's part of the so-called Constantine section of Serdica, where the palace of Emperor Constantine the Great was situated. Maybe this is the place where he said, Sofia is my Rome. The Rotunda is a dome-covered building built with red bricks. Behind it there is a stretch of a former Roman street with preserved sewers and the foundations of a large basilica with a nave and two aisles. These lands used to be the empire's border territory. Military fortresses were built along the entire Danube riverbank. One of them on the right bank of the Danube is the Nove, four kilometers from the present town of Svistov. It measures 485 by 365 meters and there was a civilian settlement to the west of it. Army veterans, merchants, craftsmen and their families used to live there. Some of the most renowned Roman emperors conducted campaigns from the fortress, Trajan, Adrian, Caracalla. Another famous former military settlement, Abritus, is located a few kilometers from Razgrad. Surrounded by fortified walls, Abritus was well planned, supplied with water and a sewage system. Many Roman towns were established around military settlements scattered all over the country. Some of them are the majestic city of Ulpia Escus by the village of Gigel in the Pleven region, the town of Castra at Montanesium with its adjacent territories in the southwest part of the town of Montana, and the veterans colony Flavia Pazis Deltensium near the village of Debelt in the Burgas region. One of the largest centers of the Roman province of Thrace was Augusta Traiana. Its antique forum is situated in the very heart of Stara Zagora. Augusta Traiana flourished during the reign of Marcus Aurelius and the Severan dynasty. Massive public buildings, temples and a theater were built. A magnificent marble statue of Orpheus has been found, evidence of the active cultural life. The Romans knew the medicinal qualities of mineral water. Hisaria was once a large Roman city called Diocletianopolis. In terms of its authenticity and originality, the city ranges among the first in Europe. Romans loved luxury and art. The Villa Armira near Ivailovgrad is a real Roman Empire palace. The two-story building with splendid marble decoration and original floor mosaics is royal in size. The first floor alone has 22 rooms. The Romans enriched the ancient Thracian lands and brought luxury and impressive construction. A large part of the achievements of this great civilization are visible to tourists to the present day.